Up until now when I've tested the MFJ mag loop, I've always had it up on top of a mast, uh, anywhere between sort of 6 metres and 12 metres. And um, not everybody has that option. A lot of people that are using these mag loops are using them in uh, restricted uh, housing associations or uh, live-in flats and just for whatever reason cannot get a mast up. So how well will it work if it's ground mounted? So what I've done is I've uh, mounted it on a tripod in the back garden, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, I want to see how well it performs at ground level. Now, golden opportunity. I had the uh, mast down with the uh, mag loop on because uh, I wanted to do some running repairs. And also I wanted the mast space on the side of the house for uh, another upcoming project. So... Uh, golden opportunity to get the MFJ down. I've changed it from, it was mounted horizontally on top of the mast. I've changed the mounting to vertical and uh, mounted it on the tripod. So let's uh, give that a go and uh, see what we can do with it mounted at ground, well I say ground level, it's uh, probably, I don't know, probably about shoulder height, head height, somewhere around that region. All right, here's the setup then. So I've just got the uh, mag loop mounted on top of this uh, tripod and I don't know if you can see that the feeder cable goes up the wall to where that there used to be a mast mounted there just goes through into the loft and uh, drops down into the shack which is uh, that room over there that left window right so we're a couple of days later the uh, antenna's been out there a couple of days had a few days to uh, experiment play around so MFJ mounted vertically on a tripod low to the ground um, now I'll be honest I didn't test SSB with this because I've said before that SSB with this with this mag loop is absolutely infuriating uh, just having to keep uh, retuning it every time you change frequency so I've said all along I see this as more of a antenna that you set on one frequency and leave for data modes and that sort of thing so uh, I've not experimented with SSB. Um, I did play about on the FT8 on the higher frequencies on 15 meters and 18 meters. And um, to be honest, I didn't have an awful lot of success. I think, to be fair, that is more down to the positioning of the antenna because uh, the antenna is mounted fairly close to the wall, up, you know, up against the wall of the house and. Uh, We've got the uh, conservatory down one side, the fence down the other, and um, we're on an estate here as well, so I've got houses all around me. So um, I'm probably not getting an awful lot of low angle radiation from it. So uh, I have had DX on that antenna, but in this configuration, it wasn't great to be on it. If I moved it a bit further away from the house, I suspect it might have been a bit better. If if you're on the you know, if you're in a flat or some kind of an apartment, you can get it up a couple of stories high um, on a balcony, then you might do a bit better than me. But uh, looking at the um, whisper plots, I mean, uh, you know, 20 metres wasn't too bad. You've got uh, your local around Europe and uh, working your way into the States. And uh, there's one down in Australia. Um, if we... Uh, go down to 30 metres, which is sort of a halfway band between uh, 20 and 40 really. It's similar sort of thing, although you're not getting as much over here, over into America, or uh, it's only working one way with that station in Australia, so it's not quite as good. Um, you're still getting a couple of uh, two ways, you know, both directions around uh, Europe. And if we go down to 40 now in my view this is where this antenna really shone on uh, 40 meters now I didn't get anything in terms of DX and I was as you can see from the um, whisper plot I was on the gray line but again like I say due to it, the way I've got it mounted its location I suspect I'm not getting an awful lot of low angle but within the sort of uh, 500 to a thousand mile radius or so it's actually working really quite well getting quite 
good um, NVIS. So I think what's happening is uh, the low angle from the antenna has been blocked out, but the high angle is going straight up and then basically straight down and raining down within that sort of, uh, like I say, 500 mile, 1,000 mile, 1,500 mile radius. So it's, it's actually working really quite well as a NVIS. Now, like I say, I've said all along this antenna is a compromise. You, MFJ say that it's close to the performance of a dipole at higher frequencies. You mount it nice and high across above the ground, sort of for 15, 18 meters, it may well be. Um, my experience is that gap starts to close up, but at the lower frequencies, around 40 meters, you're probably still going to do better with uh, a dipole or something like half wave N fed. So that's my view. If you know, if you're in a difficult situation, you're stuck, then yes, absolutely, definitely it works. It's probably about the best you're going to get for that size of antenna. But uh, if you're looking for SSB, then uh, just be aware you will end up retuning it constantly. And personally, I find it absolutely infuriating. As a second antenna for data modes, can't fault it. Absolutely spot on. I, In my view, if it was down to me, I would still have it mounted as high as I could possibly get it on a mast. But if you can't do that, tripod at around head height. Hey, the last couple of days, I've, it, it's worked. It's uh, It's been perfectly good. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.